Jeff, you gave me an epic interview in the middle, I think it was in the middle of lockdown, where, mm -hmm. you know, with very Italian hands, obviously, you said, we're running out of everything, which is very true. Has COVID and actually the war in Ukraine changed the commodity complex forever? I'm not going to say forever, but is the situation tighter today than when we did that interview? Absolutely, yes. The big event last year was not Russia. Um, it was China. I mean, you've, global oil demand contracted 2% in the fourth quarter of last year. That's a recession in my book. And that, that created the spare capacity in oil, metals, and everything. And that manufacturing data that came out this morning says we're starting to reverse that. So you can think about we created new supply not through investment but through China contracting through lockdowns. Now as China comes back we're going to lose that, that, that spare capacity and we're going to be back to the same problems we had before but even much worse because we haven't invested. So what oil at you know $30 more than here? I mean our, 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 our base case is you know we get into the fourth quarter towards the end of the year we get back above 100. But that a lot can change if you start getting the momentum. Mm -hmm. The other thing too Again, the investor participation in this space is really low. No. So, um, you know, you haven't had me on here in quite some time because clients are not interested in the space like they were six, 12 months ago. And as they get interested in the space again, then you get capital flows coming back in. It'll help them likely push the market higher. I mean, we don't really talk about peak oil anymore. Is that because it's been pushed back or because we're uncertain because we're going back to more fossil fuel usage? Um, actually, I heard the term peak oil applied to supply recently again. <laughs> um, but but I, I, I think that, that um, you know, the fact of the matter is that there's a lot of concerns around the inability to meet supply in places like um, you know, Europe and particularly right. on the gas side, such that the energy security question is right back up there. And so energy security, reliability, affordability of energy are now all back on, on, the, on the agenda. Um, but I think your point that you know peak oil is not a, a mainstay, I think at this point, the the ability to get from one year to the next, given how scarce supply is, is really the focus. And the markets have been trading that way. By the way, a commodity super cycle is not an upward trend in prices. It's a sequence of spikes. And we're coming off the backside of one spike. I'm, you know, My confidence that we'll see another spike in the next 12 to 18 months is quite high. And then it'll change the public debate and we'll move. I think what happens is we saw it in gas in coal this last year. Year, no. the upcoming one's likely to be in oil.